If you dove into the sun, the first Imagine layer drill. you hit is hot enough to make diamonds boil. The photosphere is the first visible layer. There's two layers above it. If you're magically protected, you get through Magic. it in just about 400 kilometers. Then you- oh, There's the other two layers. So the corona is actually much hotter, it can be up to 3 million Celsius, but it has such low energy density. It's the source of the solar wind. And the chromosphere is also hotter, but think of it as a shielding cloud if you're considering the photosphere, the effective containment vessel boundary, viewing the sun as a reactor. Boiling ocean of plasma where ionized gas rises and cools and sinks like a giant churning pot that gets up to 2 million degrees. Basically the equivalent of a cooling system, but here we're talking plasma convection. Kept going, you'd hit a zone so dense that light particles, photons, get trapped, bouncing around randomly like a Magic ping pong drill. machine that takes 170,000 years for light to escape. Basically the equivalent of the sun steam generators, only it's purely radiative. Photon random walks, so to speak. Finally, you've reached the core, the place the where hydrogen atoms smash together to create helium, nuclear fusion. Yep. The result? 15 million degrees Celsius. Energy that powers the sun and life on Earth. This is proton-proton fusion. Not practical to do this on Earth. No shielding, no cladding, just pure gravitational confinement.